if you really believe in something you have to recognize that you might be in a position where you are able to see a version of the future that people even close to you can't see, can't see. and that future doesn't necessarily even have to be on a global no. scale it can be just in a your, your, in a your future in yeah. a your niche right your, there your niche put mm -hmm. it this way have you looked at a picasso i'm painting mm -hmm. there has been nothing before and nothing since even people who try to imitate imitate it wrong right. wrongly if you're doing something and acting within your own passion i don't want to use the universe but the universe has sent you signals that only you can interpret mm -hmm. don't make another man who not looking through your eyes define what is the signals that you're seeing because only you can know that only you can feel that. Only you can can really look if you are acting from a place of worth. And the reason why I'm taking this route to answer this question is because I want people to understand that it's a complex thing. Look, I, when I was at Edgecam, I was wrestling with, do I sit here and learn from Doreen Frankson, this juggernaut of a business leader? You are in the same boardroom with this amazing woman that's a business leader. The only woman at the time to lead the Manufacturer Association of Jamaica. She built this manufacturing business, Edgechem, in a country that is tough economically to build any business, let alone a manufacturing business. And she has done it, at the time I was there, it was, um, Edgechem was about 20 years old. Edgechem is probably 30 years, going to be 30 years old, uh, if not already, right? So I was there, I, my question to myself as a 23 year old guy at the time, being in that, uh, um, management meeting was Javed, you are the youngest person here by at least 10 years. You really want to give this up to mm -hmm. start something that is at best weird, weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and at worst, just don't write stupid because the trends could have point trends could have gone the, trends change all the time. Something that a person think is the trend now shifts, but something spoke to me. To say, Javed, the, the fact is, you, you like this space. You respect this space. The work that you would need to do in this space to get you where you need to do be in, in, in terms of expertise, even though you are in marketing here. You can't do you it can't here. You can't do it here. Yeah. Because there are different considerations. There are operational, budgetary considerations. If you have your own firm, you can experiment. You can try something. Mm -hmm. You can fail at something. You can figure out something. You can feed yourself through the process. You can do, you can embark on your own kind of self-development, self-expertise. You can guide your own processes. So well, the question I had to, to, to get to is, do I trust myself enough to be able to do that. And, I, and when I, actually a conversation with my mother kind of gave me a little bit of motivation because she said to me, yo, I have known you all your life from your, before your life even started. And since then, I have not seen you make a decision about something that you want to do and you commit yourself to it. And I would say it's a failure. Even if it don't work out, it teaches you something. So bet on yourself, right? Um, and that just, just hearing that gave me the motivation to say, you know what, I want to try this. Mm -hmm. I want to bet on myself. Right? Yeah. I want to bet on myself. And the fact is, most of the people who I, people say naysayers, I wouldn't even call them naysayers at this point. They operated from a lack of understanding of what I was seeing. Mm -hmm. They were outside of my visual range and my understanding of who I was and what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So, and, and even my, some of my family members who said, Javet, you're going to give up your job to do this? They also, they were actually saying that, not because they didn't want to see me succeed, you know. I have a tendency in Jamaica to say, oh, this person bad mind. No, it's not bad mind. They fear that you might fail and that might crush your spirit. They actually care about you. That's why them say, oh, you sure you want to do this? I don't doubt them want so. Them fear for you. It's like a mother watching a child taking her in, in their first steps. The child, the baby going to fall, he might bruise him, he might cry. Mm -hmm. So they're actually looking at you thinking, oh my God, I really don't want him. Go, go do this. And then it break him spirit. Right? Most people, you know, your family, your friends, I don't like them want to say, no, them just don't understand what you are seeing. Yeah. So if you're committed to your own self-development, what that would mean is a greater understanding of who you are. Yeah. Right, and if you understand who you are, it, you are better able to step into what you should be doing. 
because you know what the, the thing is, what is motivating you. Yeah. Um, and not everybody is motivated by the same thing. You see, when I when I when I watch the news these days, you see all this news, especially when it comes out to entrepreneurship news around billionaires and how much them wake up at five o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and they do this and they do this. I am unconcerned about that, you know. <laughs> I don't I don't want my the way I want to be an entrepreneur don't mean I want to live like anybody else is living. Right. Right? I want to live like I want to live. Right. So I am going to build my business and my and structure my life in such a way that pays me dividend for how I want to live. Right. Um, so the, 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 this is something that a lot of people don't realize. Um, making sure that you're actually doing what you want to do. So this idea of your, this, you need to get about six in the morning and you need to run 10 miles like Kevin Hart and mm. you need to, to eat um, veggies and this alone. That is Kevin Hart. That's what Kevin Hart wants to do. Right? Um, and you, some people, they want to be busy. They want to go in all of these board meetings and they want to do this and they want to do that. That is them. Mm -hmm. Right? What do you want to do? What, what, what's how you want to work? How you want, you want to only work on a weekend? Structure your life to fit that. No matter what you want to do. No matter, uh, like, that is them. The sacrifice, I, for me, you have to think about how you want to spend your life. I want a lot of time for my family. I want a lot of time for my friends. I want to build something, but I don't want it to. I, there are other things in life. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have, I have, I'm civic-minded. I, I want to, to, to contribute to Jamaican society. I want to, to, to pay it back. I want to drive to the country and look on the beach. Them things are important to me too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so I don't want to structure a business and a career that robs me of myself. Mm -hmm. And, but we keep on looking for examples in people um, when, in the reality, that's not how you want to live. Right. So if you're building a business and it requires you to live how you don't want to live, you have to examine what you're doing. Right. Right? <laughs> so what I, when I, when, oh, the, 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 it's a complex thing. Yeah. You have to realize that you have to, to make sure that you're doing the things that speaks to what you want, you want to, to do. do. And you have to focus on your own personal self-development. You have to work on yourself so that you can, when you're actually serious about this, you can step into what you want to do. Yeah. Right? So lots of people don't want to work in offices. Um, and they, they probably are called on to build a business that requires them to do that. Yeah. Those people will inevitably be miserable, stressed out, and they'll probably give up. <laughs> True. Right? True. Right? That's Some true. people are not, don't have the skill set to do, do a manufacturing business. They are service people. Mm -hmm. they, they like talking. They like teaching. They like, um, if they try and do it that way, some people are introverted. Right. They love their quiet time. Or are you going to build a business that you have to be on the phone eight hours a day trying to counsel somebody and teach them something? Even if you have to, and so you have to figure out yourself. Yeah. And figure out what works for you. Yeah. Right? Um, I know. Everything don't work for anybody. For That's everybody. True. The point that you had raised um, around, you know, persons not necessarily being aligned with your own vision and persons somewhat imposing their fears on you. Yeah. Um, and I think that has become embedded in the culture where in the first episode I'm speaking about something called people phobia. Yeah. And the fear of what people will say. Yeah. How will people react? Yeah. Um, and that has somewhat crippled a lot of what we have done and mm. what we haven't done. Yeah. So the fact that you're able to create something means that it can fail and yeah. it can be scrutinized. Yeah. But it also means that it can be great. Yeah. And it can actually transcend into something that you've never even thought of. Yeah. I think we were talking about this in our first yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so let's, I guess let's try and see how best we can. Sure. Tie up that part of the conversation yeah. with, with <laughs> how we how we manifest yeah. um, what our greatness is and and, and, and our, our 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 ownness um, and our personal excellence. Um, you know, one of the first things we should I, I would like everybody to start at is just look around you. Just literally, if you're sitting in your in your living room, if you're driving in your car. If you're at a restaurant, if you have your headsets on, wherever you're looking, and whenever you're listening to this, just look around you. Almost every single thing, the laptop, 
the screen you're watching, the couch you're sitting on, the lights in the room, everything was built by somebody. Mm-hmm. Somebody created somebody it. Somebody created it. Mm-hmm. Which means this entire world that you live in is somebody else's idea. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's more more actually want to pause. If you can pause, a, yeah, yeah. let's a, pause there. It's let's a pause, creation. Let's pause there and just let, we're creation. not saying anything. Yeah. Just, just think about that for, for, for 30 seconds and then we're going to the conversation. What that means, Yuan, is that at one point in time somebody said, My vision for a sofa is this. Mm-hmm. Right? It started there. My vision is this. I believe we can fly. As far as I'm concerned, everybody who is alive right now should not feel that anything is beyond them. You, you are alive in a society where a plane is in the sky. Think about that. Mm-hmm. You are alive in a society where, not, where a man has stepped on the moon. There was a time when nobody did that. Mm-hmm. You're alive in a society where you can go on your computer and talk to your friends. Do you know how incredible that is? <laughs> <laughs> You're alive where you can pick up your cell phone and dial somebody in Japan mm-hmm. from Jamaica and see them and hear them. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, in the, you're in the golden age of civilization. What is possible? What is possible? Everything. Everything is possible <laughs> because there was a time when fire was our best, our biggest discovery, mm-hmm. and it's still an amazing discovery. But we have gone way past that. Human ingenuity and innovation can solve almost every problem you can think of. Every problem you can think of. Mm-hmm. Back yourself. Yeah. Back civilization. Back humanity. We will find a way. We always do. Mm-hmm. With the car that we drive, we fly. Whiskey, we have hats, yeah, we have glasses, the outfit. The outfit. <laughs> Human ingenuity is endless. Yeah. Systems need to nurture that ingenuity. But even when systems don't nurture the ingenuity, what the, where, where, where the, I, I, I would use the term market failures exist, mm-hmm. another thing come. A man innovate out of it. Have you ever gone downtown and say man I innovate out of the problem yet? Yeah, man. So how you, daily. Daily. So how are you going to be in a situation where you are alive in 2021, where the dragon rocket is now circling the earth on a tourism mission? That means somebody paid to sit on a tourist and circle the earth, mm-hmm. right? How are you going to be alive now and doubt yourself? Why? Where? What can you think of that you can't achieve? Yeah. Nothing. And it's, it's, it's important too because we, we need to f- realize that play your own game. Yeah. Play your own game. Not everybody has the same outlet, but we all have the basic resources to play our own game. Play your- Everybody's vision, as you had mentioned earlier, is going to be slightly different. It's going yeah. to change, take us on different paths. Yeah, and but- some, people are, some people are innovators. Some people are co- collaborators. Some people are connectors. Mm-hmm. Um, if the whole, if the entire world trying to be Usain Bolt, we have a problem. Right. Right? But if Usain Bolt is being Usain Bolt and Kobe is being Kobe and Serena is being Serena and Michael Leachin is being Michael Leachin and Jeff Bezos is being Jeff Bezos and um, Joe Biden is being Joe Biden, then we'll figure it out. Yeah. The problem exists when... Um, Michael Leach and start trying to be Joe uh, Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. Then you have a, you have a connection issue. Right. Or when <laughs> or, or when um, Serena Williams start trying and be Kobe. Right. Right. Not to say that she could have played basketball. I'm sure she'd kill it. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just but, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean. So uh, as long as we are stepping to our oneness. Yeah. As long as we are stepping to our ownness. Because even the creations that exist, as you rightfully said, someone visualized that and executed that without care or concern for what anybody else's yeah. thought process was. No, guys, so, this more yeah, I make yeah, and yeah. some more I make it. So, so one of my, I, I, I was listening to Ancient Future the other day, Protégé's album, Ancient Future. And I'm thinking to myself, what if Protégé did say, you know what, Bob Marley made Exodus, mm-hmm. that's the greatest album ever. Me not, no, no, more, no more music. <laughs> yeah. How, how sad the world would that be? Yeah. What, oh, 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 what, we'd have missed so much. Mm-hmm. 
if 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 Chronics did say yo, but just listen to Bob Marley. Yeah. And we never get Chronics. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yo, how oh, oh, oh much how oh much sadder our world would that be? Yeah. The fact is, we have so much to contribute to the world. The, 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 our problems right now, as it exists now, is our, as, a, as a human race, and I'm being very broad brush when I say this, is too preoccupied doing things that don't really meaningful to our overall sustainable living. Yeah. We're too, we're too busy being distracted by things that people create to serve us. So you hear, I see people all the time, oh, this money, money, money thing, I want to help. To do what? What are you doing with the money? Mm -hmm. Right? Um, Simon, uh, I think it was Simon Sinek, oh, said something. There's a reason why I create a business, you know? And you don't create a business to make money. Money is a tool. Money is a tool used in the business to get to an objective. Mm -hmm. What is the objective are you driving at? Like, I, money can't be the objective, Money is a tool. Right. Money is a tool made to store value and exchange so that we can do transaction. And the, the, the world's greatest innovators, paint them however you want and use their names in whatever um, way you want to describe them, they never really started with that concept but of you money. Yeah, but, but, but who? They never started with the concept of, I am I going to I, I can be one make on... this product for yeah. money. I can be 100% sure now. And, and, and say categorically that anything you're doing just for money, it, 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 I, I don't know if that's a worthwhile thing to be doing. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. categorically. Mm -hmm. If you were doing this just because of money, you, I want to make money. For, don't get me wrong, you know. We have built a society that money re is required to do transactions. Yeah. It gives us the ability to access our dreams. It gives us the ability to work with other people, to fly, to, to that. Yeah. But it's a tool. And if you are, I don't know, what's the most basic job you can do? Like, um, I don't sanitization know. Engineer. If, if you are a sanitization engineer, let's put it that way. And you, are, you say, you know what, what all I can do is get disinfectant, spray it on a cloth and wipe down an area. Mm -hmm. That is my role. But you are, you are passionate and committed to it. You're going to increase in knowledge of your practice so much because you're committed to your own personal development and the practice that you're going to say, you know what? I have a way of developing a disinfectant that is a little bit more effective on this surface. Mm -hmm. And you're going to work on that because of that you like. And then when you start working on it, you're going to say, oh, you know what? You know that we can add. We can add a demystifying spray here so we take out humidity and, and you're going to work on that. And you're going to get to a place where you are the preeminent expert mm -hmm. on cleaning things. Mm -hmm. And then COVID going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then somebody going to say, you know, who is the expert at cleaning? Right. And then a year of time, you know, the, ref, the, the, the coach just <laughs> call you off of the bench. Yeah, the coach just call you off of the bench. Suit up. Suit up. Imagine if you... <laughs> When you were working on the disinfectant, you know what people who are working on these things now gonna lead? Mm -hmm. And them just in you know, them little corner do them thing, but they cut them well positioned and a fit them time. Yeah. Look on Zoom, brother. If Zoom did say, you know what, Microsoft did they already, this did they already, I not build Zoom. Yeah. Zoom in a one little corner, sit down, don't know nothing about COVID. Don't no work at double T H O. Now try for fight crime. Mm -hmm. Him just a build him little Zoom software, video can allow people to talk. And then COVID happened. Guess what? Everybody be zooming. Zooming. I, in a theme time, him yeah. get called off on bench. Yeah. Right? The company has skyrocketed in value. Yeah. Everybody, all when you know zoom, you zoom. <laughs> <laughs> you see? The fact is, if we work in our own space, if we really work to move, if you want to move your purpose, mm -hmm. my thing, if, 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 you, if you feel like your thing is climate change, if your thing is agriculture, invest in it, learn it, go deep in it. Not no surface level, deep, deep, yeah. deep. Constantly be learning. Read everything you can find. Go in. Yeah. Go in. Your time when call, the coach going to call you off the bench. The coach going to call you off the bench. Most call you off the bench. You are the best at it. Yeah. You have spent so many time and you're stepping out in your oneness. Imagine if Bob Marley did say he's still there in the US a dig, a dig farmland. You mm -hmm. think he would have be Bob Marley? No. Nope. No, the man give that up and say, oh, uh, uh, I'm going to be Bob. I'm stepping on my oneness. 
And he became what he what he, he was meant to do. Music. You can't if you listen to anything Bob Marley has done, you know Sam do what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right? And you can only do that if you're willing. Cause if you listen to if you if you I love uh, Bob Marley. Yeah, if you notice, I talk about all that. Yeah. TBC, right? <laughs> but if you look at early Bob Marley things where I'm doing the hip tones when he wasn't a rasp before mm, and whatever, mm, mm. that was his journey. He was trying to search for who he was. Right. And then, remember, you know, when, when, when Bob Marley was doing his, what well, became like who he became, many people in a Jamaican society, even up to this day, still, still look on him and like, yo, this Rasta boy, I come. But yeah. he, he stepped into himself. Yeah. He stepped into himself and him find the people who are feeding people. Him find him tribe and him do him thing. So the, the, the idea of your purpose is most important. And even one of my favorite interviews with, with Bob is when the interviewer asked me, you're rich? Yeah, what and is Bob riches? And Bob asked him, what is riches? Because he wasn't doing it to be rich. Yeah. Yes, there is an element of we need to supply our basic needs. But in reality... Why are you doing it? Yeah. What you, Simon again, cynic. Why? What is your why? Why are you doing it? I love what I do, and I can do it for the rest of my life because I love helping entrepreneurs and small businesses. I love seeing them grow. I love see how them invent and improve. I want that to happen. I believe business is a source for good. I believe conscious capital can transform and form the world. I believe unconscious capital can destroy the world, but conscious capital can transform the world. Innovation can transform the world. Somebody will find a, a, a vaccine. Somebody will build a car. Somebody will build a spaceship. Somebody will invent a way of connecting and bringing us closer to our family members. Somebody will invent a way of us enjoying things that we couldn't enjoy before. Somebody will build a vaccine or a medicine that prolongs my grandmother's and my mother's life. Mm -hmm. Innovation drives the world. And I want to be in a position to assist that innovation. And that's why I do what I do. Yeah. That's my why. That's why I jump up out of bed and go talk to my entrepreneurs every day. Because yeah. that excites me when a man comes with me and says, Hey, I'm building this little herbal remedy and it do this. Yeah. And I'm like, excited. Yeah. More I see him on eBay. More I see him on all of these things. Because yeah. he's stepping into something that will move the game. Yeah. And will do something. And he's employing people. He's giving people purpose. Right, me not excited about it because I'm going to pay me after I done the consultation and after I build a website or after I build a mobile app and design labels. That's not why I do it. I don't. I, the money is a byproduct of yeah. me Second giving period. myself to the, mm -hmm. the thing. Yes, I want. I need the money because I have to pay rent and JPS sends a light bill <laughs> on clockwork. Right. But that is not why I do what I do. Mm -hmm. I do what I do because it, it, it speaks to me. It's, it's my way of impacting the world. It's yeah. my way of giving back. It's my way of moving a country that I think is an, an amazing country, but through uh, a, an innovation and a, and a private sector innovation that speaks to me. Yeah. So the fact is, find the right why. Find the, the, the thing that is, is really speaking to why you're doing this. Don't let the tool trick you into running down the tool, right? Yeah. Money is the tool. With money, you're able... I, I love the example that Simon Sinek used. I'm going to repeat it. Like, when we buy a car, you don't buy a car to buy gas. Mm -hmm. You buy a car to get somewhere. Right. The gas is the thing that you have to put in the car. Right. So you need the gas. But you never buy the car if you put gas in it. Yeah. You buy the car because you want to go on the journey. Yeah. So it's the same thing with your purpose, your business, your idea. Do that. Do that thing. Yeah, and use the tools for the, what the tools are there for. Yeah. And you, you, most of the time, some of the tools, then when you think you need, you not even need them tools. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Javed, it was, it was a great discussion as usual. It's always good to know that we, we still have persons who are driving and leading and, and, and encouraging persons along the way. Um, and taking time out of their own time to to look at, to experiment with, and to share successes and failures, um, to let people know that hey, this 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 is actually a possibility, yeah. and this is real life, and and with a little bit of patience, a little bit of discipline, and a little bit of hard work, we can actually move the needle forward, and we can actually stand and 
be the man in the arena, yeah. be the, the, the person that steps into their ownness and creates the new, the next level thing. Yeah. Um, so I think we have a part three coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, and these conversations, <laughs> these conversations are, are always a pleasure for me. Um, on a parting you note, know, I want to say this to, to everybody who is struggling to find themselves, find their purpose, find a way. Mm. Um, the struggle is the first part of the journey, right? Don't sit in the struggle though. Act. But act knowing that you have to change something. You can't continue to do the same thing and expect that something will change. You have to actually change yourself. You have to, come, you have to honestly build a different version of yourself. It's something that Jay-Z, um, again, who I, I love listening to Jay-Z's business um, stuff, he says, like, more people come up to him and say, oh, man, you have changed. And he says, yeah, but that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to change, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you're, you're the caterpillar, yeah. right? And you're supposed to become the butterfly. Yeah. But if you want to stay the caterpillar, you can't. You're suppo bro, you are supposed to change. You are supposed to evolve. Your friends are supposed to change. You are supposed... You, it is, you, can't, you don't just pop out where you want to be. Um, you are supposed to change. That's the whole point. That's what growth is. So focus on that. Focus on the fact that you have to change. And move in that direction. Move in that direction first through learning. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you're going to be able to do everything else. By, by trying to learn. Like devour knowledge. De de go deep in it. Spe and and, and I'm, I don't mean that in a way, a way that say, yo, you can't watch Netflix. But watch enough Netflix. And me no want to live a life where I can't watch some Netflix. Because I'm not a slave. Right. <laughs> okay? Me no live a life where I can't listen to some music. I'm not a, I don't live a life where me I work so hard, I can't go, go, go on the beach. What, I don't want to do that. Okay? I want to be able to enjoy everything about life. I want to be able to have these conversations. I want to laugh and take a road trip with my friend them. I want to eat fish um, on the beach and not do anything. Like, more and those things are important. So don't think you need to be a slave to this illusion of trying to run down something that's not necessary. Right? That is the, an illusion. Step into your ownness. Do, do, do you. Yeah. Focus on deepening your knowledge, deepening what the things that you care about, and and give 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 presence to that. My my greatest pleasure is to see, to talk to my son. Just sit down for, for an hour and just talk to him, because he said the most the things were boggle my mind yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at his age even. Yeah. But some people are so busy running down. I don't know what. Like what is going to what is what is better than that. What is better than a, a, as a parent sitting down and having a conversation with a ten year with a ten year old, or as an auntie or an uncle? It, it, no, no better than that, you one. Yeah. You, where else are you gonna find that? Yeah. It is the most wonderful thing in life. And if you just if you if you put on your phone, turn off your devices, don't be distracted, be be, be, be present. Present in the moment. In the yeah. moment, and just do that. Yeah. And then after you finish, for days. You realize how precious this one precious life is. Yeah, for days. Yeah. So, the, I, I'm saying all of that to say this. There are illusionary things in the world. Many things are an illusion. Many things are an illusion. Focus on developing yourself, deepening your knowledge. Be skeptical about expertise. I am always skeptical, but don't, don't be arrogant. Be skeptical. Be skeptical but curious. Mm -hmm. Right? And if you're skeptical, what you mean is you go deeper in understanding what is being said. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> um, and it, man. yeah, my pleasure always. Alright, bro. Big up. Yeah man, respect. <laughs>